Hey guys, my name is Kubrix, and today we're going to be testing $1 versus $1,000 LEGO sets. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the $1 LEGO set, it's, it's not really a thing. So I was looking online, and the cheapest I can get were these Mario, like, random character LEGO sets. So they're about $4 each, and instead of just getting one, we got three. So let's get building. All of them put together look really good, and for $4 each, I think it's a great deal. Alright, now that we're done with the $1 LEGO set, or $4 technically, we're going to move on to the $20 LEGO set. So let's do it. So here's the set. It sold for about $20 in 2010, and this is the time lapse. Alright, here it is. I know that wasn't very impressive. Probably like two seconds long. I mean... The set only comes with 76 pieces, so I don't even think it's worth $20, but it still looks alright. Now let's move on to the 50. Alright, so this is it for our $50 LEGO set. We got the Desert Skiff and the Sarlacc Pit with Boba Fett inside. This one's really cool. For $50, I think it's a great deal. Nowadays, it's worth probably about $70, $75. And here we got some exclusive minifigures like Boba Fett. And I don't know his name, but I think he's rare. So overall, it's a good set. Definitely worth $50. And now, it's time for something even bigger. All right, right here we got the $100 T-Rex Breakout, and it's got 1,212 pieces, so I think this thing's gonna be pretty big. Let's find out. Alright, this is the completed $100 LEGO set. I think so far this is definitely the best value we've got. It's got four nice minifigures, a really cool dinosaur, and even detachable parts, so this one gets a 10 out of 10 from me. Let's move on to the next. Alright, so here's our $200 LEGO set. It's the Porsche 911 RSR. This is really cool. I mean, it's a really big Technic set. It's got a working V8 engine and working steering wheel. It's hard to compare it to the Lamborghini or the Bugatti just because it doesn't have paddle shifters, but other than that, it's a really good build. Now instead of a car, let's look at a lighthouse. For $300, we got the motorized lighthouse, so let's check it out. This LEGO set has so many cool features. I mean, it's a little pricey for $300, but it does include the motor, which is pretty rare. And motorized LEGO sets tend to be very expensive, especially if you're talking about the Lieber and such. This is gonna be the only motorized LEGO set on the list, by the way, because I'm kind of broke. Tuh, never mind. Okay, fine, we'll do 400. For a $400 set, we got the Disney Castle. This one's awesome. It's got eight really cool minifigures, 14 references to Disney movies, and just a beautiful interior. So I'm excited to show you guys.
All right, there you go. Clearly, as you saw, the attention to detail is really just amazing. But I think my favorite part overall has just got to be the fireworks. They're so cool. Now that was a pretty good deal for 400, but it's time to move on to five. All right, so here's the $600 Lego set. It's um, uh, it's 500. I don't know if my favorite part about it is the fact it's got 15 unique minifigures or if it's just the landscape is so beautiful. Another big bonus to the set is it has over 6,000 pieces, making sure it's going to take a long time for you to build. Another one of my favorite things about the set is all the detachable parts. It shows off a bit of the interior and it kind of helps you understand where all those 6,000 pieces went. And although this one's a little tricky to get out, it does show off a pretty cool secret. So here's all the minifigs I was talking about. I just really like when sets do this because I think it adds a lot of value, especially down the line in the future. They each also have their own item. Also just look at the roof tiling. This has to be at least 500 pieces alone. Also like I mentioned earlier, just look how beautiful this landscape is. Alright, so that's Rivendell. So far it's my favorite set. I mean, I guess that makes sense because it's the most expensive, but it really is just super cool. Alright, on to the next. Here we got the $700 LEGO Titanic. Looking at this thing, you can kind of tell why it's $700. It's the second biggest LEGO set ever produced right behind the Eiffel Tower, and it has over 9,000 pieces. Just looking at the cranes and the decks shows what's really capable out of LEGOs. I also love the design of the portholes. Here on the deck of the ship, we can see the lifeboats and the benches for people to sit on. Opening up the ship allows us to see all the different levels on the inside, and it shows us parts of the engine room. Even allowing us to spin these giant engines. The Titanic is definitely the best deal if we're looking at price per piece, but I think it lacks some of the character that other sets have. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful set, but I just love it when they have the minifigures. Alright, we're getting super close, so let's finish it up. Alright, here for $8.50, we got the Ultimate Collector Series Millennium Falcon. Although it's not the most expensive Lego set on the list, it's definitely my favorite. And just the size and detail of this thing is really crazy. I think it's really cool that they added characters from multiple movies. And it's even got an awesome underside. Here we've got the huge hyperspeed system. And it's even got a bit of an interior, showing off an engine room and just an area for them to hang out. Plus another spot to equip the gunner on top. But just looking at all this detail, I think it's easy to see why this is my favorite LEGO set. And it's hard for me to even fathom a LEGO set that's more expensive than this, but I'm actually about to show you too, so let's move on to the first $1,000 LEGO set. For our first $1,000 LEGO set, we got the Death Star. So, I don't think this needs much explaining, I'm just going to show it to you guys. And although it might have retailed for $500, good luck finding it under $1,000 now. I'm not 100% sure why this thing gained so much value, but if I had to guess, I'd say it's because of all the minifigures and just all the cool features that it comes with. Overall, I'd say this is a great set, but maybe not for $1,000. Alright, so it's all came down for this. It's finally time for our most expensive and rare LEGO set, so let's bring it out. And here it is. For last, but clearly not least, we got the Imperial Star Destroyer. This thing is huge. Over 4,000 pieces, over $1,200. This thing is a menace. This thing doesn't have much of an interior, but let me just show you the outside.
And lastly, each of these minifigures alone are worth upwards of $100. So there you have it. We just compared one versus $1,000 Lego set. So I hope you guys liked it, and I hope you guys learned something new. Also, if you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing because this is my first YouTube video, and I would appreciate any feedback. See you later.